Hi all, in this video, I'm going to give the answers of the interview questions that I've discussed in the previous shot. <clears throat> so number one, what is the effect on visibility of the child records in the case of master detail relationship? So right now, as you can see, I have a company object and I have a employee object as well. And in the Chrome, I'm logged in as Salesforce in five minutes user who is a CEO, CEO and in Edge, I'm logged in as COO record that is Raju Srivastava. He is below Salesforce in five minutes user as per as the role. So right now I have a company object, okay, and the employee object, and the relationship between the company <clears throat> and the employee is a master detail relationship. So this means if I delete the company, employee will also be deleted, and the owner of the record is a CEO, okay. So he is a CEO. He is the owner of the record. So he is above everyone. So next is let's see the sharing. Let's go to the company object. <clears throat> the OWD of the company object is private. So if as a Raju Shivas, if I tried as a COO, if I try to access the record of CEO, which is private, of course, I won't be able to, right? It will throw me an error saying that looks like something like that, right? It won't be able to access because the OWD is private. But what about child? Can we access the child? What is the visibility access? What is the visibility effect on the child in this case in master detail relationship? So let's see, I'm trying to access the child, okay? So let's do that. <clears throat> Answer is, we are not able to access. The reason is, even though the OWD of the company is private, let's see the OWD of the child as well. It's controlled by parent. As you can see, controlled by parent. So if the OWD of the uh, company is private, child, that is employee will also be private. So whatever records that are visible of the company will also visible of the employee. So the in in the case of master detail relationship, the usually the visibility is controlled by parent. If you see can child, if you can see the parent, you can see the child as well. If you can't see the child parent, you can't see the child as well. So this this is the effect of the visibility in the case of in the case of the child record in the case of master detail relationship. Let's move to the next question. That is what is the effect on the visibility of child records in the case of lookup relationship? So right now, <clears throat> I have a teacher object and a student object. Okay, there's a teacher and a student object. So there's a master detail relationship between both of them. So now, the OWD of the teacher, let's see, is it's private. So basically, if I can't see the teacher, basically I won't be able to see the teacher, right? As a Raju Shivasto user, I won't be able to see. Let's check it out. As, as the order is private, it's pretty straightforward. I won't be able to see the teacher. But can we see the student or not? Let's check it out. <coughs> so yes, I'm able to see the student. That is, I'm able to see the child even though I was not able to see the parent in the case of lookup relationship. The reason is because the student in this case has a separate individual OWD. It does not follow its, its parents in the case of lookup relationship. But in the case of master detail, it does follow. That's the reason why we were not able to see the child as well as we were not able to see the parent. But in this case, it's completely different. Student, that is a child or child object, it has a separate OWD, separate sharing, right? So that's the answer for the second question. The third question is how to take multiple parameters in the invocable method. So I have created an invocable method over here and this is basically my invocable method, right? Now, if you don't know, you can pass only one parameter in the invocable method. No matter what, you can only pass one parameter in the invocable method. Now, the solution to this is that you can create a wrapper class such like this and you can create as many as variables that you want by providing invocable variables on the top of it. And you can pass the value from the flow or from any Einstein bot as well to these variables directly and you can pass you can create the complete list of this and use it as a parameter so this parameter will consist of all these values so now you will be able to pass multiple values from the invocable method itself even though it is capable of only sending one parameter so this is how we can pass multiple parameters in the invocable method if you found this video is helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel